The intent of this video is to discuss Sandbox's user interface. Facepunch has decided to go for an HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript based interface for Sandbox. And uh, as you can see here in this blog, this is where it was first announced. Gary posted this blog, I believe. Gary Newman says, we're using HTML for our UI right now. I found that this is a pretty divisive thing to do, so let me explain our workflow and how we're trying to make it not suck asshole. As programmers, we tend to think things like, I just wanna draw some text to the screen. This is too much. That's a valid point if your game, if your entire game UI consists of writing a single string to the HUD, don't use HTML. But there's a point where putting in a bit of extra work means a lot less work in the future. And then he goes on to provide a list of benefits uh, and discussing some other information about the, the sandbox specific HTML implementation. If you're inter interested in this, then I suggest you go to their website, sandbox.facepunch.com, navigate over to the blog and read this entire blog post. Now we're gonna dive into what I have to say about HTML based interfaces. First, we're gonna go over the basic technology of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So some little history lesson, HTML was released 24 years ago and the purpose of HTML is to perform a basic structure of the interface. Just a very simple layout or basic idea of what the interface should kind of look like. CSS was released over 20 years ago and it applies modifiers directly to the HTML to change margins, paddings, colors, borders, fonts, etc. Basically just as a styling component to HTML. CSS is virtually useless without HTML. JavaScript was released 21 years ago. JavaScript is used to make interfaces interactive and responsive. It can perform logic on HTML or CSS in real time to create cool effects. So yeah, that makes these three, combined together, you combine these three together, it creates pretty powerful functions for user interface applications. Now we're going to talk a little bit about Coherent UI. This is the uh, the library that Facepunch has de decided to use for their HTML based interface. Uh, Coherent UI is powerful and it's expensive. It was created by Coherent Labs and this company was founded in 2012. Uh, Coherent UI is supported in a variety of platforms, pretty much almost any platform that uh, game development can occur on, including OS X, Windows, Linux, Xbox, PlayStation, Unity, Unreal, and Lumberyard. If, if you don't know what Lumberyard is, it's Amazon's game engine that's based off of CryEngine actually. And I believe it's open source, but that's not the topic of this video. And uh, Coherent UI is used by a variety of different games. And I'm sure there's a lot more games out there that use an HTML based interface, but uh, the ones that uh, the games specifically using this coherent UI that they have listed on their website, there's probably more. These are, these are just the ones that they have listed, but it includes Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, Drop Zone, Fractured Space, Next Machina, and The Culling Quarantine. I believe you can find all these games on Steam if you want to check them out. You might be asking now, why HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? Well, for one, it's an adaptable skill. Learning how to design interfaces in Gmod is only specific to Gmod, and you can't really use that experience anywhere else. But if you learn how to design interfaces in Sandbox with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can directly adapt this knowledge to designing and creating websites. And two, these libraries were invented over 20 years ago with the sole purpose of creating user interfaces. That means there's more than 20 years worth of advancements that's gone into this technology. The downside to this is that it was designed for internet browser applications and browsers do not demand high performance. If this technology is implemented improperly into a game, it can cause stutters and poor performance. But fortunately, the best HTML powered interfaces utilize the power of threading. This means the interface calculations and the operations and whatnot are done parallel to gameplay. Thus, it has very little effect to your frame rate, but it still puts a tax on your CPU. That wraps up this video. I hope if you weren't a fan of HTML, CSS before, or if you were unhappy about the announcement, then I hope this video might have changed your mind. Um, just know that HTML and CSS and JavaScript were all designed strictly for the purpose of interfaces. That means they're powerful. 
and uh, I think it's a really good design decision by Face Punch. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed watching, you know, subscribe, press the like button or whatever. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.